Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ultimate Scum Tutorial for Beginners in 2023. And today we are going to cover getting into the zone, which I think is very, very important to alleviate some of the stress you guys have when you run around with a lot of loot. Um, but yes, um, today's title is just going to be titled um, Getting into the Zone and Getting to a Place Where You Can Play very freely with, without worrying about your loot so in the previous part i said you guys have to loot the entire town so let me loot the entire town quickly maybe i'll do a little fast forward for you guys and see what we get shall we Okay, so here's a very, very important um, tip when you find the absinthe in a house. You can only uh, purify rags with absinthe and rubbing alcohol, okay? So you just highlight all the clean rags that you have, and then you right-click on the absinthe, and you go disinfect. And this is a quick way of making quick um, aseptic rags. And what makes the septic rags so good is that they clean your wounds and they're 100%. So their healing power is 100%. Where with rags, the healing power isn't always 100%. Okay? So this is the most effective way to heal yourself very, very quickly in a bad situation. Okay? And it's as simple as that. And then you can use the alcohol to clean your wounds with as well if you ever get an infection. But I'm fine with this for now. And I'm just going to drop drop that. So we've got five rags. And i like you guys to have at least five rags um, in case you get shot by a Meg or you know, something like that. But in any case, let's keep looting. And then another tip, guys, if you can't eat, you're wearing something on your face, okay? So I had a mask on my face, so I, can't, I couldn't eat. Anything that blocks your mouth in the game, like if you look at your character and someone's, something's blocking your mouth, you won't be able to eat. So if you want to eat something and you don't get the eat option, just know that your mouth is blocked, okay? Now we're going to eat this pumpkin because the pumpkin is going to give us carbs, and carbs protects our protein. If you don't have any carbs, you are burning through your protein at four times the speed at which you would burn through your protein if you've got carbs. Because your body burns through your carbs first and then your protein, which is very, very important for building strength because you need protein to be um, gaining strength. Okay? So just know that carbs are very, very important so that you don't burn through your protein very, very fast. And of course, this pumpkin is giving us water as well, which is very, very good. And then we never want to eat um, past 90. We always want to stop eating before we get to 90% stomach volume because as soon as you go over 90%, you, you will get negative effects. And if you go too high, you can even die. Like at 130% or something like that, you can die. So I always click stop eating. And then I can just put it back. And now you guys can see I've got an intake of 151 um, with my carbs, which is very, 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 very important. If you don't have carbs and you run around, you'll see that your usage on your protein is very, very high. But as soon as you've got carbs, your usage... Um, versus your intake on your protein will be very, very low, okay? And of course, we're gaining 960 milliliters per hour um, in our water, which is very good. And we're gaining about um, 500 to 800 calories at the moment. So 
eating now and then is always good for your survival. And then the reason I'm getting feathers, I usually don't get feathers. The reason I'm getting feathers is to help you guys that that don't want to use a bow, okay? Because we started with advanced um, rifles, you'll be able to use a crossbow quite easily. So that's just for everyone that's struggling to use a bow at the moment. I'm collecting feathers because you need feathers to craft bolts. So you can't use a crossbow without the feathers. And again, every puppet, I'm eating twice in the leg and then once in the chest to level up my archery as fast as possible. Now, I'm going to take the tactical vest because the tactical jacket has the modest amount of inventory space. And if I put it on, you guys can see that it's got one, two, three, four by three. So it's got 12 slots. If I repair it with the sewing kit, it will have six slots. And six slots is way better than anything that we're carrying at the moment. And of course, it's helping with camouflage and it's helping with heat because, you know, we're going to get cold in the snow, you know, and then it will give us a lot more inventory space. Once we find thread, and as soon as we find thread, we can make a sewing kit. And I'm collecting nails and bolts to craft toolboxes later, which will be very important once we get helmets and armor from them. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm very, very selective with what I'm looting. I'm getting feathers for the bolts, for the crossbow. I'm getting money, which is very important. I got this radio because on any item, you can go and examine it and see what you can craft with that item. So I got the radio specifically for the practice bomb because the pra we're going to use the practice bomb to level up our demolition skill. We need a radio for that. Um, or a battery, but a battery takes more space. So a radio, electrical tools, which can be the small one or the big one, one scrap metal and a blue wire, okay? And the blue wire that we just got um, is going to enable us to, to make a better bow. So I'm always prioritizing. I'm always like, what is not very important at this moment, okay? And then I replace it with that loot. And of course, you can stack bolts uh you can stack bolts and nails always nice to just check what you can and cannot stack and then once you start running out of arrows you can always just go cut up a bush quickly um and get more arrows like i just quickly cut this bush up and remember when you cut down a bush it will make noise so it's better for you to make sure your area is clear before you do it It's very important to search these little um, white containers because you can get bobby pins inside and a lot, and you will find a weapon on top of the table, okay? Very, very safe way to find like a pistol or a weapon on top of the table. And very, very, very fast to check because you can just quickly open the room and check it. If you want to be clever, you can basically just check through there. But I mean, opening the door is not that, you know, isn't that much effort. And here we go, a puppet with stab proof with the stab proof vest on. We will always get the stab proof vest, which will give us extra protection. Always take the armor that they give you. It can be the difference between life and death. Okay, and now we've got enough, basically enough feathers. I'm gonna throw the stone knife away. I'd like 24, 24 of them. And this is a slow. This is a slow, this, the axe is a very slow melee weapon, but yeah, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace it for now because I can, you know, I can use it for multiple things like killing puppets or cutting down a tree or something like that. Um, okay, so we need one more feather. One more feather. There we go. Okay, so we've got 24 feathers. So we're going to craft the, the 
crossbow quickly. And the bolts. Which won't be too hard since we've got the axe. Okay, so to craft the crossbow, <clears throat> you're going to need um, one tree bark rope, three long sticks, a rag, um, and a cutting tool like an axe. I'll get a dirty rag from the puppet that I just killed. Oh, yeah, I'll cut up his clothing for a rag, craft the crossbow, and then we can craft the, um, the bolts. Wooden crossbow bolt. Okay, so for the metal tipped crossbow bolts, we need a feather and yeah, I think we're gonna make metal metal crossbow bolts. Stone tipped. No, we're gonna make metal because there's a lot of scrap metal in the town that we have and that we are in. But to make the metal tips, we need basic. Um, yeah, we need basic survival, which we don't have at the moment. So we we are forced to make the normal. <clears throat> the normal wooden crossbow bolts for now, which is a feather, you know, a small stick, um, and the axe. So we're going to get the small sticks quickly. And guys, when you... The reason I'm turning this, I hold in my left mouse button and I mouse scroll wheel to turn it because that little stick there at the top of it um, is usually where the sticks are going to go. So you can see there's this little stick going that way. That's where the sticks are going to go. And this one is just solid, okay? So if you ever want to wonder, the sticks will usually go in the direction of this little stick over here, okay? And now you can hunt again. Maybe we'll hunt, maybe we'll hunt this guy. But first we're going to... Um, make the the crossbow because we've got the blue wire make a bolt quickly he's gonna run away because he sees us or he's not gonna run away so let's just drop the bow take the crossbow And load it. Okay. You must be very careful. They will charge you. But we'll get him now. now. We'll get him now. That's why I jumped, guys. They'll charge you and hurt you. But we're just going to finish with the bolts. There we go. So we've got 23 bolts. And now, you can use the crossbow, okay? The improvised crossbow. Now, if we stand here, and we aim, you can see the feather is in the way, okay? So, if we aim for the corner of that structure there, we're going to aim for the corner of the wall there. And see where the arrow goes. You always need to test your weapon before you use it. You see, quite a bit of drop happened there, so we can pick it up. And because of our advanced rifle skill, we're not struggling too much to load it. But now we can just go and see where is this thing going to shoot, okay? So, if we look at that, it shoots basically at the point of the arrow, not the feather. So if I point there, there's like a gap at the bottom of the feather on the right there's a gap. You guys can see a line here in front of me. Like this little rope in front of me looks like there's a little line going through it. But just look at the feather. Look at the bottom of the feather where the little white line is of the feather um, in the middle of the arrow. That's where you're going to shoot. Okay? So, very easy to figure that out. And yeah, if you can load your crossbow fast, you know, then you're not going to have uh, an aiming problem. But... Of course, you want to maximize the crossbow use as well. So we've got advanced rifles with 30 XP. So we're going to shoot a puppet in the head and see how much XP does it give us to shoot a puppet in the head once. Okay. I'm going to let this guy wake up or this lady wake up. Shoot her in the head. And then we're going to see we got 1,100 XP for a headshot, which isn't bad at all. 
Okay, and it's very accurate because we know how the crossbow works now. But now we're going to see how what's the max. Okay, so we got a thousand one hundred with that. We're gonna see what's the max we can get. And I always like to search the balconies. To make sure that we don't miss anything. Always good to search absolutely everything. I've already got bobby pins and I want to focus on getting six screwdrivers because if you're lucky enough that a cargo drop lands on top of your head, that's going to be very, very good for you. Okay. So in any case, let's go, let's go get another puppet quickly. Um, this is a thin puppet, so that's not really going to help. But again, we know how the aiming works, so we can just kill him quickly. So that gave us... We're almost at 2,000, okay? But we're looking for a thick puppet. Let's just see how it goes here. See if he dropped any money for us. So now we're just looking for a, a big puppet. To see what that looks like. For searching everything, pressing tab regularly so to make sure we don't lose anything. These boots are not too bad, but we got a very, very nice upgrade, which is the jeans. Jeans are going to give you a lot more inventory space. Okay. Um, six instead of two slots, which is a major, major upgrade to your inventory space. So that's good. Like I say, keep pressing tab to see what's in your vicinity and keep searching everything. And then we've got enough, we've got enough feathers for now. Just make sure that we search everything. Okay, so we've already been here. We will get a puppet at some point. Okay, we've already been here. I'm just dropping items to get awareness. There's a car drop in B0. You can always just open up your map. Um, that can open cans for us, which is nice. But yeah, you can always just open up your map. <clears throat> um, B0, there's the cargo drop. Okay, so always open up your map just to see how close the cargo drop is to you. But of course, you're going to need six screwdrivers or a crowbar to, to get the loot out of there, which we will cover. We will cover everything. So here's a big puppet. We've got 2,000 XP, so we're going to shoot her in the leg. Then we're just going to get out of here because the crossbow is quite slow. And we're going to shoot her in the leg again. And that gave us 1,700 XP. We, had, we were 2,000. Two times the legs is um, almost double the XP. Okay, so now that we know uh, a big puppet can only take two leg shots uh, because of the crossbow bolts. And yeah, we're clearly losing crossbow bolts here, which is not that good. But I mean, collecting feathers is not that bad. Okay, so we've got a measurement that if we hit them twice in the leg with a crossbow, we're getting almost double the XP. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything here. Because that one spot you miss can be the spot that gives you a hiking backpack or a better backpack or better clothing. Very important to be thorough when you're lo lo looting. And these little places at the top isn't useless. You can maybe get thread here. Someone has got a katana up here before. Okay. So anything is possible. Um, we can search this like this. These are carrots. So we can search the ca carrots. See if we can get a carrot. There we go. Get a carrot. Carrot, again, is going to give us carbs and water, which is very, very good. We want to protect that protein as much as we can. Not really crazy about the broccoli. The broccoli is mostly just water. But I mean, eating now and then helps a lot. It helps. It helps a lot. Because... You've got accumulated fatigue in the game. But as soon as you eat something, it counters. You guys can see the accumulated fatigue is going down. So if you don't want to sleep for five minutes when the accumulated fatigue gets high, just eat regularly now and then. 
eating will help with the accumulated fatigue as well. Okay, there you guys can see the accumulated fatigue is getting less and less just because we're eating every now and then when we can. And if we couldn't find any food, then it's fine. Then we just uh, lie on a bed, okay? And a bed, a bed you can get anywhere. Most of these houses have beds or you can craft a bed. You can basically go to building and just craft a bed, which takes three long sticks, a rope, four rags, and a, you know, an axe. You can plop that down anywhere, sleep for five minutes if you've played about four hours, and you'll be... You'll be good. Okay, so this is a big puppet again. You're gonna shoot her in the leg. And then... Just gonna hit her with it. Oh, I didn't load it. How did I not load it? I'm gonna press middle mouse button to hit her backwards. And hit her in the head. Okay, so you can always use that to keep them at a distance. And that was more than 2,000. So clearly a leg shot and, uh, you know, and a head shot makes a big difference because you're getting the most damage out. And if you don't want to reload all the time, then you're going to do what you do with the gun. You're going to hold shift, right click to see that you're on single fire. So every time I hold shift and I right click at the crossbow, it will show one bullet. So I'm on single fire. If I hold shift and I right click, then I'm on triple fire. Now on a gun, that means single shot or, or automatic, but on a crossbow, it means if you shoot, you're gonna reload the crossbow automatically so that you don't have to manually press R, which is gonna help you a heck of a lot, okay? In situations like I showed you guys there. And like I said, I search, I search every single puppet um, because um, they can give you thread, they can give you money, and I mean, it gives you awareness with uh, all the items that you see. We have chips here. We're going to eat all the chips quickly. The chips are giving us a lot of fat, which is not that great, but it's fine. Going to give us um, quite a bit of carbs. It's going to give us a lot of energy. Yeah, so a bit of a fatty food, but... It's not the end of the world. And we're just going to keep on searching. It's a survival game, guys. Remember that. It's a survival game. Not PUBG. So please don't get frustrated when you don't find something in every single container that you search. Okay, you're playing this for the long run. You must focus on the journey and not the destination. Um, and if you find... Let me see here, my, let me check here, my fame is seven. If you search olive bushes and you double click on it to put it into your inventory and then drag it out, then you'll get fame. Like there, I've got 12 fame now. So just remember when you, usually when you loot olives or uh, important loot, first double click it to put it in your inventory and then drop it. Okay, because that will give you that will give you the fame that you need. This is a raked beanie. It's worth a bit of money. So um, we're going to take that with us. Because if we don't find a backpack, we can always buy a backpack. We've always got options. Okay, so this guy is upstairs. We're going to try and sort him out quickly. It's just a thin puppet. And there we're automatically reloading. And with a high rifle skill... It's not a problem at all. Um, that is basically the same as the cotton hoodie. If we didn't have a hoodie, we could wear that. And because we've got the jacket, it's not something that we're focusing on right now. Here we find a big soda bottle, which is great for water and carbs. So that's a very, very good find. So we're just going to put it in our... Okay, our pants has got a weight limit. So we're going to put all the light bandages in our pants because our pants has got a weight limit where our uh, backpack doesn't have a weight limit. Okay, so we can always use that. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, at some point you're going to need to pee or poop, okay? And all you do for that is you hold in tab, you go to the um, toilet bar, and you pee or you poop, okay? If you've, if you've eaten a wrong mushroom by mistake, so there's mushrooms that can poison you in the game um, or put you on a trip, if you eat a, the wrong mushroom by mistake, just go and vomit immediately to empty your stomach. That will help you to not die. Um, and if you want to pee or poop, you know, once your water is over 50%, you can pee. Once your um, colon is over 50%, okay? So once your, mm, mm, once your bladder is over 50%, you can pee. Once your colon is over 50%, you can poop. Now, I'm going to the bow because the bow is just a lot more versatile for me and we have to end this video about talking about the zone but uh, the re biggest reason that i'm going to the bow is we've already got advanced rifles and even though we've killed a few puppets with a crossbow 15,232 xp doesn't mean a lot getting to advanced rifles okay so it's better to make your character more versatile with other things and leveling up your archery skills so you can get the dot with the bow so that you can be more effective with the bow. So I want to use the bow, which I'm going to do now, to level up my archery. And the other thing that I want to do is level up my survival to basic because basic survival opens up a heck of a lot of things for you. It opens up a primitive compass so you've got north, south, and east when you're holding in your focus mode, okay? Um... It opens up a improvised backpack, which is the third best backpack in the game. The only backpacks that are better space-wise than an improvised backpack is an assault backpack and a hiking backpack, okay? You can make an improvised water container. Um, you can make a, a leather belt um, holster. You can make a holster, which is very important because um, you'll be able to craft a a handgun and a shotgun at some point, okay, which will also help you to get into the zone. Now, because I found a metal saw, you can do it even if you found an axe, okay? Metal saw and an axe is not hard to find. What I want you to do is cut down every tree, and then when you cut down a tree, you will see that you're gaining um, XP for cutting down a tree in survival. So we've got three to 3,545. So we're getting 100 XP with every tr tree that we cut down. And for every log that we turn into planks, we're going to get 75, which should put us at like 720. Okay. And this is the fastest way to get your survival to um, basic. I don't want you guys to be negative about this. There's going to be a lot of grinding in scum. And because you took the ultimate build, which I showed you, which is rifles, running, thievery, and medical, you there is going to be a lot of grinding in the game. So what I want you guys to do now is cut down every tree, cut down every log until you reach um, basic survival. And I am at 37% now, and I'm going to start a timer to tell you guys exactly how long it took me to get to basic survival. I'm just going to cut down tree, cut down logs, cut down tree, cut down logs, until I'm at basic survival. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that took us about 15 minutes, okay, 16 minutes and 25 seconds. What we have effectively done is we've leveled up our survival by just cutting down um, logs. We've leveled up our awareness as well because every log gave us four planks. We've leveled up our awareness. We've leveled up our strength a little bit. And as you can see, we're burning through our usage on our protein was 36 grams per hour while we were cutting down a tree because we've got no carbs in our system, okay? So we burn through our protein quite a while. But the biggest thing that I want you to look at here is um, what we are able to craft. So I know all of this is going to open, okay? This entire block here is going to open because of basic survival. But we want to see what opens up here as well because of basic survival, okay? So we're going to cut down this, which is going to level us up. I want to see what it opens up here.
Okay, not yet. Here we go again. I'm going to see what it opens up here. We are going to level up right now. There we go. So, except for the fact that it opened up all of these, except for the lock protection and the um, iron lock, which we, we need um, engineering for, look what it opened up here, okay? Metal knife, kunai knife, improvised hatchet, shovel, um, or improvised metal shovel, metal axe. Very importantly, fishing rod, handgun, and shotgun, which we can craft with a metal pipe, okay? Very, very, very important. Now, we did level up to basic to basic um, survival, but the mo because I'm on my test server, I don't really fear players, but you won't really do this on a multiplayer server because you can easily get killed from someone. So the best effective way is to go into the forest and do this. And if you ever... Um, want to get want to do this faster then you need to craft the flag but to craft the flag so you want to go into the forest check where you can put down a flag you're going to need 10 rags dirty rags from puppets 10 scrap metal two bolts and a toolbox toolbox is very easy to craft because you're going to the crafting menu all you need for a toolbox and that's why i picked up the nails and the bolts all you need for the toolbox is basically um, two scrap metal, one nail, one bolt, a blunt weapon, which is very easy, and two planks, okay? So then you can place down the flag, do exactly what I did here, but because of the flag, then you'll be able to place a single door frame, which is by far the fastest way to level up engineering, but you can't do it without a flag. So what you are forced to do, instead of wasting all these resources underneath you, you want to put away your nails, okay? So I'm going to put my nails on top of this rock over here so that I don't waste them. So we're going to put the nails on here and we're going to put a little blueprint on here so that we don't forget about it, okay? We need to get our nails here at the blueprint. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place this um, wooden chest down so that we can add the planks to it. This is the worst way to level up engineering but for now, because we didn't plant the flag, it's not that bad. So we're going to go from zero, going to hold shift and F to place, to add all the planks. And that's only going to give us 16 XP. Okay, so this is a complete waste um, to do it like this. So it, it would actually be better to go put down a flag and um, level up engineering by, by building the single door frame. Okay. This isn't really going to help you uh, help you for that. So what I would rather do, um, instead of wasting all these planks, which I'm clearly going to waste, is rather build this right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up this um, to get the rope that I need for that. So we can make a flag here. So we want to make a flag at a bunch of um, at a bunch of trees. And then we just want to drag the chest. Okay, we don't want to run. So we're just going to mouse scroll wheel because mouse scroll wheel affects your speed. So we're going to walk. And then we're going to jog. And then we're just going to drag this chest over here. And we can bury it if we want to. Okay. We can bury it if, if we want to. But just to make this guide a little bit shorter, we're just going to leave it here. Okay, it's close to the flag. And like I say, we need 10 scrap metal, 10 rags, 2 bolts. We've got the 2 bolts and we can craft the we can craft the toolbox quite easily because of all the planks that we've got there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to craft the toolbox and maybe put the toolbox in there, into that chest. I don't think that's a bad idea. And the metal saw isn't useless, guys. The metal saw is really not useless. I think it took about five shots to kill a puppet with a, with an axe. Okay, I just want to uh, make sure my stamina is high because if you hit a puppet with lower than 70 stamina, you're doing much, much less damage. So this is one, two, three, four, five, Six, okay? Not bad at all. We get another nail from him and another bolt. 
which is nice. And now we're just going to go to a car to get two scrap metal. Because we know cars are very, very good for that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We got uh, three potatoes just because we ran out of food. Okay. And you will see if we if we cut down a tree where when we had no carbs, we were using 30, like 36 grams per hour while we were cutting down a tree. You'll see now because we've got carbs in our system from the potatoes and everything, we will use much less if we ever cut down a tree. Okay. So just eating a bit of potatoes here to give myself a nice um, carb, you know, carb influx and keep my energy going. As you can see, my energy deficiency is going away now. And of course, my um, accumulated fatigue is on zero because I'm eating regularly. So if you eat regularly, you'll never struggle with accumulated fatigue. Okay, so there we've got the two bundles of rags which we are going to uncraft now. No, 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 we're not going to uncraft it here. We're going to uncraft it at the flag. Because that's what we need it for. And then we need... So we've got the 10 racks, got the 10 scrap, two, mo two bolts, and the toolbox. We're just going to get the bolts. We're going to put the toolbox in our hand. And then we're going to press shift F at the flag. And there we've got all the pieces. Now you guys will see the difference. I'm just going to do this in the flag zone so we can go there and show flag area. Okay, we're inside the flag area. And now I'm going to show you guys the difference of what I was talking about. So what we're going to do now is just drop all of them here. And then we're just going to say uncraft. I think it's just three planks each. Yeah, it's three planks each. Okay. So there's a bunch of planks now that we uncrafted. And now I want to show you the difference. Now, because we've got the flag, we can build the single door frame. Now I want to show you guys this. This takes five planks instead of eight planks. Okay. And of course, it's going to use our nails or our bolts. So what we're going to do now is just put our bolts in there. Make sure we've got no nails on us. And here we go. So our engineering is at 192. Five planks. 500 XP, guys. 500 XP. Alt C, Shift F. Alt C, Shift F. Alt C, Shift F. Now that is what you call leveling up engineering, okay? That's what you call leveling up engineering. Now we can go back to go get those other planks, guys, but I like everything you do in this game helps you, levels up your character. So I don't mind doing this, but I hopefully that showed you guys how fast it is, okay, to level up your engineering. Once you're at basic engineering, that will open up... Um, you know that you that will open up that you can craft an iron lock and it will open up other crafting recipes for you as well okay basic engineering will open up all of this for you okay and basic engineering will open up the wheelbarrow for you and you need the wheelbarrow to afk your tributes um which i will show you later in this tutorial and you need um the wheelbarrow to level up your engineering further because after the single door frame the wheelbarrow is the best item in the game so I'll see you guys now as soon as I'm just going to cut down, I think, three trees. Three trees, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, with all the cutting that I've done, my 
gloves actually broke. So my gloves aren't protecting me anymore. So I'm going to need to get gloves from a puppet again because I'm going to pick up hand abrasions now. With all the cutting I've done, I've literally gone through my glove. But we're almost done, so it's not that bad. But we literally broke our glove that had about 60% durability. So that's how you protect yourself against hand abrasions. It's just by having a glove. We just um, cut up one of the branches because we need two ropes for the backpack, which is a must for what we're doing. So we're just going to craft two ropes. Remember guys, you can always bury that chest underneath a tree, okay? Cut down the tree, bury it underneath the tree so that the bump doesn't, you know, doesn't show. But we're focusing on just getting into the zone. That's the mission for today. Getting into the zone, which is very, very important in Scum. So we've got the two rope. Now we're just going to make the single door frame and get to basic engineering quickly. We have got um, 42%. We don't have any nails on us or anything. No, okay, for sure. <laughs> Just press V to get out of combat mode again. There we go. Basic engineering, guys. Very, 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 very easy. And now you can see we can craft the zapper and the lock. Okay. All our crafting is open here. Um, a lot of the crafting is open, opened up here. Okay. And yeah, we are progressing at a very, very nice speed. Now that this is open for us here as well. Okay, now we can make the fortification and the wheelbarrow. And we're not going to waste the extra planks because the wheelbarrow is a lot more powerful for this. Where, yes, it is because we leveled up as well, but where we got like 500 XP per single door frame, watch this 192. Okay, we added the planks and the sticks, but in any case, 1800. Okay. So the, the wheelbarrow is the go-to for this. So that's how I just clear out things. And if I'm very, very lucky, I'm just going to add this one here. I'm emptying absolutely everything here. I'm going to be like a lawnmower now. Just putting everything in here. And if I'm very, very lucky, which I don't think I will be, but maybe I will be. If I'm very lucky, all those planks are still down there. And you guys know what's the great thing about that? It's that um, with the wheelbarrow, you don't need you don't need to be in the flag area. It's already eight percent into medium, and we've leveled up our survival as well, and we're almost at. Um, we're almost at basic awareness. And if the plague is all year, because we ran away, we ran far enough away from the planks, I think the planks are going to increase our awareness as well. So let's see here what happens to our awareness when we come over these planks. Yep. It's leveling up our awareness as well. Okay. Just because we're running all over all the planks, it's leveling up our awareness as well. So that's not too shabby, eh, Nige? Not too shabby. Leveling up the awareness as well.
And now, because of the wheelbarrow, we don't need the flag area. Even though we did it, you know, the wrong way around. Still not a problem. There we go. And we're already at 40% engineering towards medium. Didn't waste the thing. Now, because we've got the two ropes, we need to get into the zone. To get into the zone, we need inventory space, which is very important. We need thread, which is very important. And we need to craft this backpack, which is very important. We've got the two rags. The five rags are easy. We need two skins. We need two skins and a rag. Two skins... And a rag and thread. So thread is very important. To look for thread, I'm going to look inside of rubbish. I'm going to be like a bum, searching in all the rubbish. And of course, killing every puppet that I come across. Medical scissors. Uh, a big medical scissors is the best thing to collect rags. If you cut up clothing for rags... Medical scissors is the bomb, guys. The bomb. Tool that you use makes a major, major difference. Milk OP. OP. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't find thread, which is quite unusual. Doesn't matter where you are on the map, you can find thread very easily. But what we're going to do now is we find a, found a bicycle, so we're going to adapt once again um, to our situation. And we're going to have some fun. So we're going to go to the trader, okay? So that's north. Um, we just want to go down this road, basically. And you're just going to pedal faster with your mouse wheel. Like if I mouse wheel down, I'm pedaling slower. If I mouse wheel up, I'm going to pedal faster. And yeah, we are just going to get a rough estimate of where we want to go. And it looks like we want to go this way. And we're just going to pedal this way until we get to the trader. Okay, we just ran into a wolf. So how do you kill a wolf? You kill a wolf with a bow. Okay, you just kill a wolf with a bow. Um, it ran at me a little bit skew, but you know, you just release the arrow whenever you get a chance. And yeah, those bandages we got is going to help us a lot now, um, which I clearly, clearly forgot about. Those bandages that we crafted for ourselves, but we still got two on us, which isn't too bad. So yeah, let's just heal this wound quickly. Of course, we've got advanced medical. Wounds don't matter. And look how fast we heal the wound, guys. Look how fast we heal the wound. And we don't want to use that drag. Let's not use that drag. Make sure the wound is clean. Then we're going to skin this with our kitchen knife that we got in the kitchen. And again, because of our survival skill, we'll be able to make a wolf hat, which we'll be able to sell as well. Okay, so there we go, craft wolf hat. Then we can put on the wolf hat. 
which we can sell. We're going to chop up this leg. And we're just going to put one piece of meat in here. Just one piece of meat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you go actions and you either sit down or lay down, then you are going to double your healing speed. Your healing speed will go from 1.2 to 2. And your healing speed will make sure that you stabilize your wounds as fast as possible. So when we were pedaling the bike, we did open up our wounds. So we just want to stabilize the wounds as fast as possible. And advanced medical is just it's just the quality of life that I can't explain to you guys. So once it's in stabilization, it can't once it's in recovery, it can't open up anymore. We're gonna pee quickly. Okay. We're gonna carry on with our journey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we come to the zone part. What do I mean when I talk about a zone? The zone, entering the zone can be a different thing for different people. Um, as most of you know, I've got a lot of experience in scum and my zone phase. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse around is basically when I am comfortable with what I'm doing and I have very little fear. So there's zero gear fear. Um, there's no rushing to a certain point of interest. And I'm just playing the game without fear. I can loot every place. So on Survival Evolved, which is my main server that I play on, which is my PvP server, I love running around with a compound bow or a recurve bow and a hiking so, backpack. what will it be? And not a lot of loot. Because as soon as I start running around with full military gear and an AR and a sniper rifle and screwdrivers, um, and then when I loot places with this gear, I've even got more loot on me, then I... Then I get very tunnel visioned in a, in like a PVE or in a PVP kind of, um, I'm careful with everything that I do. Um, I don't loot certain places. I'm much more careful when I hear people because I don't know how many players I'm up against. Um, but the zone just means where you understand that Scum is a survival game and it's meant to be enjoyed. And for any of you asking, why the heck did you show us all that leveling when you're talking about a so, zone? what will it be? When you're talking about a zone, is because you need to level up your character to reach that zone, okay? It's very, very important for you to reach that, this bold to relax, like I, I told you to start with advanced rifles. You need to get to medium, at least medium, to start enjoying a bow, okay? Um, you need to get to at least medium en endurance to start enjoying the game. You need to get to at least medium demolition to experience the game as it's meant to be played. You definitely need to get to medium stealth um, to have a more fun experience with sentries because without stealth, it takes a lot of skill to get 
into bunkers or to get past sentries without being detected. And once you're detected, they see you from much further away. They shoot immediately. You know, it just becomes an uncomfortable situation. Um, and then with intelligence, you need basic engineering to be able to repair the helmet and the tactical vest that you get from a military puppet. Because a tactical vest is the best armor that you can get in, in the game at the moment. And a military helmet is like the best headgear you can wear. But without, without you leveling up your engineering like I showed you, you can't repair the, the tactical vest or the helmet from the puppet. So one shot will break your armor or one or two or three hits from a puppet will break the armor and then it's useless. Where if you repair it to 50% with a toolbox because you've got basic engineering, then it's just as good as having a brand new tactical vest and a brand new helmet that will cost you quite a lot of money. Then you've got the maximum protection and to survive a, a certain situation, you need to get to basic survival. Otherwise, you don't have any compass, okay? And we can craft the compass now because we're in basic survival. You know, we can craft a toolbox. We can get a plank. We can get a, a scrap metal very, very easily. Every time we die now, we can make this compass to get to so that we can get around the map very easily. Um, we can craft this backpack, which is the third best backpack in the game. This backpack only has three by three. So it's nine slots, where when you craft this backpack, it gives you 25 slots. It's five by five, okay? And although we didn't get lucky by finding thread, and it's not that difficult to find thread in any case, we can now just come to a trader. Here's which, what I've got. Which we came to on a bike, okay? And we can... We could buy thread, okay? And that's it. We just bought thread. And with this thread, we can make a silencer, okay? Because to make a silencer, all you need is five rag strips that you can get from puppets. You can use dirty rag strips as well. The thread and a bone needle, which you get from a puppet. Then you can put your first silencer on. So the next time you, you get thread, you, you have to check if the uses are above five, it has to be at least six. Any any thread that you find with higher than um, five uses, you can make a silencer again. It's, you know, so, uh, let me just get the name right here. A bow silencer, okay? So that you've got two silencers on your bow. Um, and then you can make a sewing kit again. And a sewing kit is extremely important to repair your gear so that you don't have these inactive slots. So what I'm trying to tell you is, is the build that I gave you the best build possible? Yes. Because if I told you to take medium archery and medium rifles, we just need, like you can see, to get to medium, we just need 100,000 XP. To get to basic, we only need 10,000 XP. So if I told you to take medium archery and medium rifles, I just gave you 110 XP, 110,000 XP plus 110,000 XP, which is 220,000 XP. But bef because I told you to take advanced rifles, I took a lot of the grinding out of your hands. And anytime you have a rifle, you will be able to stand your ground with it because you're going to use a rifle for most of the game. So there I gave you the 10,000 to get to basic, the 100,000 to get to advanced, and the million to get, you know, and the million to get to advanced. So it's 10,000 to get to basic, 100,000 to get to medium, and then a million. So I gave you 1,110,000 experience points right from the start. Because I knew that you can get to medium archery very easily, but it's going to take you a very long time to get to advanced rifles. And it doesn't help me telling you to take medium archery and medium rifles because you can get to medium archery and medium rifles very easily. It's only from medium to advanced where the real grinding comes into the game. And rifle, rifles is the skill that you're going to, use mo going to be using most in this game. The reason I took, told you to take advanced running is because I know I'm going to let you AFK a lot. I'm going to let you level up your skills, which will naturally level up your endurance 
but it won't you know, naturally level up your running. The reason I told you to take advanced thievery is because you will struggle a lot with medium thievery. If I told you to take medium thievery and medium stealth, yes, you'll be comfortable with you'll be comfortable with megs, but you'll struggle with thievery, because if you take just a hundred thousand points to get to every every time you climb, it's ten times better, basically. Like the devs literally said, if you've got no skill, you suck at it. You know, if you've got a basic skill, then it's at least ten times better than having no skill. Like literally. Um, having no thievery and basic thievery is like 10 times better. And ha from basic to medium is like 10 times better. But from medium to advanced is makes the biggest difference. So, yes, 10,000 goes to 100,000 10 times. 100,000 goes to a million 10 times. But the extra 900,000 points that you have to, the extra 900,000 XP that you have to get to get to advance rewards you a lot more, okay? So advanced is where you want to be with any skill to do it sufficiently and not to struggle with it. That's why I'd rather let you get, rather let you take advanced thievery and I'll let you level up stealth, okay, over time. Because this is a long-term game. I want you guys to see scum as a survival game and not just copy other people. I want you guys to experience what Scum is about. And, and the survival game is about the small things. It's not about the big things. Driving the mountain bike here was fun. It's silent. It doesn't use any gas. A lot of people just complain about motorcycles or vehicles using gas. Um, a bicycle doesn't use any gas. A, um, a dirt bike is extremely fun to drive. And a car has got a lot of inventory space. Okay, so there's always give and takes with scum. But the real value of the game comes in with leveling up your skills, with, with making your character better. And once this game comes out in full release, you will remember this video when you reach 8 strength, 5 constitution, 5 dexterity, and 5 intelligence one day. You will feel the reward of achieving that goal. And it's not like any other game. Another, Any other single-player survival game lets you go from point A to point Z and then you're done. There's no real sense of achievement. I have finished every single survival game on the planet, guys. There's no real sense of achievement. But a game like Scum rewards you for figuring things out, just like you would in real life. For instance, every good movie that you watch, a guy doesn't drop onto an island and then start killing everyone. A guy drops onto an island, and the more time he spends on that island, the more dangerous he becomes. Okay? And it's the same with you in Scum. When you drop onto the island, your first thought mustn't be to run into a bunker or to kill a player. Your first thought must be to get your character prepared for whatever comes his way in the future, which is going to be a very, very long time. And that's why I've got 5,000 plus hours in this game, and I still enjoy it. I still enjoy the game every day. I still have a heck of a lot of fun with it. I still learn things constantly because they're updating the game. And they also say they're going to be updating the game after the 1.0 release. And that's why I'm in love with this game. Because every day I play, I figure out something new. Not because of an update, just because I didn't think about it. And after every single update, you know, I try and figure it out. And then after some time, they make changes to the game. So there's always things to adapt to. And that's where the pleasure of this game comes in. And then the reason I showed you how to get to medium is so that you can, you need medium engineering to fix a car. Okay, you can always fix a car at the at the um, traders, but if you find a dirt bike that hasn't got a front wheel, you're going to need a car jack um, and a vehicle repair kit and medium engineering to put that wheel on. Okay, if you find a car without a battery, you're gonna need a vehicle repair kit and medium engineering to add the battery to the car so you can drive it away. 
Okay, so you need these small, you need this build to get off to the best start possible because you don't really need any advanced skill from here. You need advanced rifles, you need advanced running, and you need advanced thievery, and you definitely need advanced medical to have the best playing experience possible. But other than that, you don't need anything at advanced except maybe engineering, because you have to have advanced engineering to upgrade your walls to the max level, okay? And it helps you a lot with the amount of resources that you use in your base. So it's actually better to level up engineering to medium, not only to fix a car, not only to repair your, your gear, but so that when you start building a base, you're using a lot less resources to build that base because you leveled up engineering um, to medium you know, beforehand. And like it says, it influenced the number of materials needed for base building elements. So you can build that base with much less resources. A lot, so you, you're going to use a lot less time you know, and effort to get the same base as if you didn't level up engineering and you just started a base with no engineering. Because unfortunately, building a base isn't going to level up your engineering very fast, but the methods that I showed you is going to level up your engineering very fast. So what, I, what I'd like you to do is whenever you start stressing about your gear or you get angry if you get killed or you get angry when you get raided or if you get angry at anything, look for your zone. And my zone is a good recurve bow or a good compound bow with a hiking backpack and all the freedom in the world. I'll decide if I want to wear a tactical vest or a helmet. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. Um, but that's the zone for me. Just running around, going from town to town. Like if I've got full gear... There's no real reason for me to go into a town because if someone kills me with a headshot, they win. You know, they they get a lot, and I uh, the possibilities for me are 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 almost zero. You know, I don't gain anything with for running into a town or most points of interest with my full loot. With full loot, I must actually just go for all the most dangerous PvP points of interest and bunkers and kill boxes. So it limits my gameplay where if I run around with a bow and a hiking backpack, I can enjoy the entire island. And I, and I don't have to worry if I die because I can get back into the zone much quicker. The only time that it takes you time to get into the zone is the way I'm teaching you to get into the zone now because you have to level up engineering. You have to level up um, survival. You have to level up your archery and you have to level up your um, stealth. Okay, but once you get there, every other day is much easier because once you've leveled it up, every time you die, you can craft the, the backpack with 25 slots, you can craft the bigger quiver, you can um, go into bunkers very easily because you've got medium stealth, you can get around the map much easier because you've got the, you know, you can craft the compass, um, and it's just... There's no more leveling up. There's just enjoying the game in a natural way without fearing death. So, yeah, tell me in the comments, what is your zone? My zone after 5,000 hours is literally a hiking backpack, no armor, just like this. A hiking backpack, no armor, with a bow and a melee weapon, and just exploring everything. Running around, doing what I want to do, looting what I want to loot. Um, and I don't even need a car for that. There are times when I want a car, when I want to get across the map. But, but again, the, your, the most, the, the biggest, the biggest reason people want a vehicle is to get to cargo drops. That's a, that's an intense PVP situation. And I always motivate you, you guys to get to a cargo drop because, you know, it helps you a heck of a lot. And it's a nice place to encounter PvP in a, in, in a controlled environment. But the most reasons that people want a vehicle is to get around quicker. And, you know, but then when their vehicle gets destroyed, 
it upsets them because they had a lot of stuff in the vehicle. So the less you have to lose, the, the, the more minimalist you play in this game, the less things I have in my base, the less things I have on me, the less effect being killed or being raided can have on me. So please tell me down in the comments, what is your favorite zone? Is it you running around with a pistol or a desert eagle or a crossbow or just a single sniper rifle or, you know, or a ghillie suit? Like what is your zone where you feel at your most comfortable? And that's the biggest message that I want to give you today. This is a long-term investment. It's not a PvP game. It's not a Battle Royale. It's not PUBG. It is designed to be an experience that you can enjoy for many years. And I have enjoyed it for many years. And I hope I can help you to enjoy it too. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to make my... I've got the... I've got the sewing kit now, so I'm just going to kill a puppet and get a bone. And then I'm going to craft the, this backpack, okay? Um, go loot a bit more. And then, you know, when you come to the traders, check things out, you know? Welcome, well, here's what I've got. Backpack, you know, 960 bucks. That's quite expensive, okay? Um, I could get a hiking backpack for like... 1700 okay that's double the price you know but you know maybe maybe not assault um you know how much does an assault backpack go for just get my caps lock off here okay that's how much a compass costs so you guys can imagine how 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 good it is so for you to craft craft things Hiking backpack is going to cost you 2000 bucks, But, you know, you can craft the backpack and the, and, the, and the compass for very cheap. It's when you lose all of those things. That is what affects you, okay? And then you can just check, check all the prices. But, of course, you're going to need fame. We're going to handle fame in the next video. You know, but the salt backpack is 1800 That's almost as expensive as a hiking backpack. There's hiking backpacks that's cheaper than that. Check how much fame you need for, you know, for what you want to buy. Don't go, I need 400 fame to do everything at the trader. See what you want to use the trader for. I want, I want that shotgun. I love that shotgun. So I need 180 fame for it. Once I've got 180 fame, I want to see how much do I need to buy it. Um, or I want to know where to find it. Okay. So we're going to cover a lot of exciting things in the future i just wanted to handle this with you and like i say in the next episode we're going to craft the backpack we're going to craft the um the compass and then i'm going to show you a very easy way to get the best armor possible on you and i'm going to show you a very easy way to get a gun on you so if, whether you want to use the bow just to kill puppets silently or whether you see a player and you'd like to be able to kill them and get all their gear just like they can get all your gear um i will you know i will give you a way to do that as well but again i'd like you to always be in the position where you losing where you risking the least versus the other player okay which will put you in a better a better mindset so if you guys enjoyed this video do me a favor and click that like button and if you, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything that we still see and learn about scum then click that sub button but like I say, the next episode will be a lot more exciting. Am I still going to show you how to level up your stealth? Yes, I am. I'm even going to show you how to level up your farming in the fastest way possible. So there's a lot of things I can teach you because of the way I play the game. And these things usually get me excited when I figure them out, but they do take a lot of time to figure out. So I hope you're just excited as me for the next episode. See you guys later. Cheers.